North Kansas City Art! Hey guys! Oh, sorry, hold on. I'm gonna ditch the mask. Hey guys, my name is Mr. House and I teach art over at Maplewood Elementary and at Golden Oaks. And I just want to give you guys a quick introduction of some of the stuff you guys are going to be doing on the iPad in art this year. I think you guys are going to find that art on the iPad is so awesome. It's a lot of fun. It's easy. Um, we got to do a lot of art on the iPad last spring when you guys were at home. And man, I learned a lot. My kids learned a lot. But one thing that was a little disappointing was that I wanted more and more kids to get involved because it's so much fun. I swear you'll be doing it on your own just, just because. And so anyways, here's a short introduction to how fun art on the iPad can be. I hope you enjoy. To begin with, you got to locate self-service. Right now it looks like this and you find Autodesk Sketchbook. It's an orange background with a pencil on top and click install. Alright, here's an introduction to Sketchbook, but you'll probably learn more than I know. I'm going to pinch my paper to make it smaller because I don't like it when it's full size of the screen. Then up in the corner there are two circles stacked on top of each other. One is for the brushes and there are hundreds. I usually like to pick the fourth one from the top left and that's a lot like a sharpie. I'm going to adjust its size to be 10 because I like using a sharpie to draw with. Here's how you adjust the colors. Um, don't forget that black and white are in the square in the middle and colors are around the edges. Tons of different brushes you can experiment with. If you don't like something, use the back arrow at the top and get rid of it. You can just take a step back or ten steps back. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to draw a shape here and I'm going to use the paint bucket tool at the top to fill it with a color. But if it's not a closed shape, then it cannot fill it up. So you got to make sure you close your shapes all the way. Um, if you want to bring in a photo, at the top there's something that looks like two mountains and a plus sign, and you can bring in a photo just like this starburst. You can erase the background from the starburst. You can make the eraser bigger or smaller depending on how fine of a erase you want to do. At the bottom there's some tools where you can hide some things, but usually I don't want to hide things. At the top right there's also one where you can hide the whole screen, and it's just not good for me. Um, next, I want you to learn at the top that there is the letter T that you can tap on and then type in your name. And so I typed in Josh H in fourth grade and houses class. And I put that in the bottom corner so that I can identify my work. Important step here, make sure you save your work. Save it in the gallery, click save, and then so in here in the bottom right, you can click on the icon in the bottom right, click share, click save image, and then you can send it to your teacher. All right, I hope all of that helps. Next, I'm going to show you how to turn in your work in Canvas. On the left, you can see Art Class. You're going to have other classes, but find Art. Then you're going to find your assignment that's the one you're supposed to be working on. On the right, you see Launch External Tool. That's where the video is that you need to watch for your instructions. I'm sorry that you have to navigate to a different screen, but you do. Click that blue box. It'll take you to your, it's going a little slow, take you to the video that your art teachers have created for you to follow the directions and make your artwork. After you've watched it, press play, watch the video, click done in the top left corner, and then that's going to take you back to where you can turn in your work. There's a button that says submission. Click on submit, that blue box right there. Click file upload. Down near the bottom it says library. I'm going to click on there. Go to all photos, and in my all photos I'm going to find my project that I just did. I'm going to say it's this kindergarten project. Cute. All right, click that, click submit, and then watch this. It gets really excited for you. Woo! Glitter and confetti and at the top it says assignment submitted. That is awesome. You just turned in your first art project. All right, now that we covered all of that stuff, um, the last thing I wanted to talk about really quickly was just online etiquette. And this may sound strange, but Hopefully it's a pretty simple concept. Guys, I had a lot of people in the spring, I think other art teachers had this problem too, where either people weren't being super kind about other people's artwork, which is a problem for me, right? Because people are really 
putting a lot of creativity and thought and personality into these projects and if you're rude to their work or you comment online or something in a negative way then man it, it hurts it hurts me and so anyways I wanted to say make sure you're being kind about people's artwork and complimenting them and the second thing is I definitely busted some kids for borrowing from the internet and turning in projects that they didn't make on their own guys sometimes you're gonna use um, some things from the internet like patterns or like designs but please don't turn in whole projects because I busted those kids and I was like wait you got to start over because I found this on Google Images just as easily as you did so make sure that you guys are being honest about making your own work okay all right I think that's it um, see you later